just indulge. What's up brothers and sisters welcome back to my youtube channel it's your kenyan sister here and today the sun is out there as you can see the sun is out there i'm so excited about today don't mind my hair it's on a mess my first stop today i'm going to the salon i'm going to be making my hair something that i was supposed to do three days ago two days or three days ago and it wasn't successful so today i'm so excited about it so yeah it's been a while since i went to the salon and you know i've been having crazy days like the past three four days i've just been so crazy super tired today i woke up with a lot of energy and i'm so determined to make this day a success so first stop salon then well, I'll have a number of things that I need to do, but I'll figure out exactly what to do first uh, after I come from the salon. But I know at the end of the day, I need to shoot uh, some video, some sit down video for my other channel. So in case you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe, tap the bell for notifications so that you can always get notified whenever I'm posting. You can also leave a comment, suggestions of things that you'd love to see in this vlogmas. And yeah, let's head out. Let's do this. so i'm finally here ready to make my hair and i'm so excited um you know all the time for people who have dreadlocks or maybe for some people like men when they shave they always maintain the same barber i think it's the same thing for people who have dreadlocks because every time i've tried to cheat on my dreadlocks person like goes somewhere else for someone to do my hair i've always ended up disappointed so in most cases i just have to come here no matter where i'm living for instance i think i've driven um i think i've driven about 20 kilometers to get here can you imagine that so yeah let's do this and looking forward for the outcome let's go so ni kujua ni tengeneze Say hi. 
yeah can't wait for the final outcome i don't know how to style but i'll figure out once i'm done what do you think it's been amazing work look at that look at how neat it is So I'm now done from the bank and I wanted to show you my hair but I was in a rush. In fact, oh my goodness, I just got to the door and it was being closed at that moment. So I was just so lucky that I managed to get in and then the door was closed behind me. So yeah, I totally, I totally love it. I'm very, very much satisfied with the work he did. Let me know what you think about it. Do you think it's awesome? Let me turn so that I can have another look. Well, I hope you are able to have a good look at it. Let me know. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I'm totally satisfied. So now I want to go to uh, some Ethiopian restaurant. So let's go. That's like the third errand of the day. Yeah, let's go. Well, so finally I'm at this Ethiopian restaurant and I've ordered some meal. What's the name of the food? Kaiwat. Kaiwat? That's Kaiwat with? Kaiwat and a little bit of misri. Okay. Kaiwat and misri and whatever that is, we'll see it when it comes. So I'm with my old, old, old friend who runs this restaurant here. I mean, this is the cheapest Ethiopian restaurant you'll find in Kenya. Yeah. This is the cheapest. If you want to have like delicious Ethiopian restaurant, then this is the place to be. And it's the most affordable Ethiopian restaurant, I think, in Nairobi. So if you stay somewhere around uh, Roisambu, like Kasarani, this neighborhood well, then why not try out this place? So that man over there, that one, having coffee. 
is the owner of this restaurant. <clears throat> yeah. Who are you? <laughs> Joel Lukovi. We... You are speaking so low. <clears throat> Uh, I'm Joel Rukovi. I'm the one who runs the space. Uh, we can ideally call ourselves Hainalem Cafe. So we specifically deal You're with so coffee. Low. That's how my voice is. Oh, we okay. deal with coffee, tea, and Ethiopian menu. That's what we work on. Don't so, mind. as she said, uh, whenever you're around and you're interested in enjoying some of this food, Feel free and pass by, you know, and just indulge, and you can check the space. All right, all right. So first, I'm having some coffee. Uh, does it have sugar? Okay, here's my coffee. Let me put some sugar. Strong. Serious stuff. <laughs> uh, is yeah. the, are the coffee beans from Kenya? Oh, these are Ethiopian coffee beans as well? We do an Ethiopian roast and we also do a Kenyan roast. So we try and balance both. So which one is this? So whatever you're having right now is an Ethiopian roast. Uh -huh. And many of your friends we also do Kenyan roast. So both, oh, so both, both Ethiopian and Kenyan roast. So this is Ethiopian yeah, yeah. coffee. I love coffee. Yeah. <laughs> You should try it, the Kenyan roast. Too. The Kenyan it's roast. It's yeah. also good. I, I'll good. try that as well. So this one is actually amazing. And I love the two cups. Yeah. You have one shot and you're done for the day. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just one Cause, shot. One shot because it's strong enough. Yeah. Once, one one is enough to keep you moving and mm -hmm. do stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so we try and do a... To keep you active. Yes. Uh -huh. and, and and engage in endless activity. I see. So I'm not waiting for my meal. Um I've been here before and I of course I know what to expect, but yeah, let's do this. My food is here. <laughs> so Ulisama, this is called Tibs. Tibs? Yeah. And that? Shiro. Shiro? Yeah. So this is Tibs and this is Shiro. Sh shiro. Is, is it just Shiro he what or just Shiro? Shiro, Shiro, Shiro. Shiro, 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 shiro what? Yeah. Okay, and this is Tibs. Yeah. Tibs no, this is? This is Kaiwat. Oh, this is Kaiwat. Yeah. So this is Kaiwat and this is? Shiro. Shiro. Yeah. So what is Shiro? Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Yeah. And? Kaiwat is beef. Kaiwat is beef and of course the Injera or Anjera? Injera. You work in the media and you don't do this stuff. I thought it was recording. How's your food? It's amazing. It's amazing. So the, shiro? the shiro is good. I keep on. Oh, this is the shiro. The shiro is good, and the Whoa. what's the name again? Kaiwat. Kaiwat is also good. Kindle. Kindle. The shiro. You see the way he's eating. He loves. Ata mimi. Akuna sikuun sa mimi. Kau pis. Tipika vizuri taku atam. Nakuwa matam. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. What's chickpeas? Muna leo makuli. Liam, Liam, you see Liam Zalalem is asking why are you not eating? What do we do? Liam is watching his weight. And I watch weight. Actually, the, the, the shiro is amazing as well. Yeah. The shiro, yeah. it's amazing. 
Yeah, the shiro is, uh, yes, you know, it's, uh, and then it, it's mixed with spices. Thank you, so again. Hmm. I need to the cosita. Huh? Hey, Pia, what are you doing? A lot of people are saying that, but I can't remember it training so oh, much where I was. But I, I was asleep from about, I think I slept at about 5 and woke up at 8. Maybe it's during that 5 time. 5 June. Huh? No. Mm hmm I think it started raining at 10. Pia, mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 that goes by after the storm comes the sunshine and I feel this is literally the situation in my life so basically to begin with in Nairobi for the past week uh, and past couple of days we've been having floods and like it's been crazy you know of course uh, there are some places that don't have proper drainage systems so people some people have been stranded and like you know people like water rich reaches like your waist and something like that so it has been that and today it didn't rain well i'm not so sure if it rained in some other parts of nairobi but where i am it didn't rain at all there's been lots of sunshine and i feel that somehow reflects to my situation right now because as you know i've been having like crazy days and like the past four or five days have been really crazy and today i had a very lovely day everything worked uh, as i wanted and i was able to accomplish lots of things that i wanted to do and i'm back to the house and i'm so excited i'm so happy vlogmas day five was a success and i'm really looking forward to tomorrow because tomorrow's vlog is gonna be amazing so about the floods in nairobi i know for those ones for those of you who watch me from kenya this is something you already know but for those who are watching me from other regions i'm going to share a small clip of how the situation was like um for instance, uh, this this man who was stranded for three days, he went fishing and then um, there was flash flood suddenly and he was stranded in some small rock in the middle of the huge river. I don't know, it's a river or something. And it took three days for the police to rescue him. I just, wow, I applaud his resilience because imagine day and night for three days in the middle of what i like i don't know what was going through his mind but yeah i'm going to share that clip at the end of this video and i think that marks the end of vlogmas day five and yeah looking forward to tomorrow kindly subscribe tap the bell for notification and let me know what else you would love to see in this vlogmas series and see you tomorrow bye bye